After the round two, they opened some more testing slots and for us this was a chance to go in and actually show and demonstrate what we can do. And how we did it is uh, we brought the catamaran to the target vessel, uh, we docked it, and then we had people on board of the target vessel because this is how we can actually control the situation. For safety reasons, we had a pilot there who was holding the RC in case anything happens, he could take over. And this is how we usually conduct all of our experiments. So we did uh, the manipulation tasks with the drone. Uh, so this was the drone autonomously taking off from the USV, searching for a small object, picking it up and bringing it back to the deck of the USV, which was the task two of the competition. The pickup task of the small object we did almost perfectly. For the large object pickup, this was the first time we ever attempted it. We had a similar strategy as in the small object. Uh, so we have the drone take off, uh, but the drone is tied to a leash to a winch that's on the USV. So the drone flies, lands on the large object, and then turns off the propellers and grips the large object with the gripping mechanism. Then the winch pulls in the UAV with the rope. The UAV releases the, the leash, takes off, and lands back. And then the robotic arm comes and picks the object. We never rehearsed this before, so one of our guys, when the arm started uh, closing in to the object, he jumped in and he pulled the object up so the arm can grab it. So we are not sure about this one, but uh, we were still happy. Bravo! Two out of two. For us, this was a very proud moment. Uh, we wanted to just have everyone know that we can do it, and for us that's kind of enough at this point. The fact that they were able to attempt these tasks and <laughs> complete them was also very encouraging to see. It also is an indication of what can come out of such a grand challenge platform. <laughs>